Okay, what's up guys? This is Mark Augustine here. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why I came back to eBay dropshipping from the beginning to now. So like the video, subscribe to the channel. Most likely you are already subscribed, but if you're not subscribed to the channel, because this is a, this is going to be a long one. But Sammy, you want to introduce yourself really quickly? Yeah, hi, my name is Sammy. I've been dropshipping on eBay for the last six years and just happy to be here, man. And I'm Mark Augustine. If you if you don't know me, I've been dropshipping on eBay since. So let me just give you the whole story. In 2011, I was living in Costa Rica at the time, and someone introduced me to, to eBay dropshipping through an, a multi-level marketing company. I don't know why I can't remember. Was it? I can't remember the name of it, but it was a they ha, they had eBay dropshipping training, Amazon dropshipping training, and none of it worked. They were more focused on the multi-level marketing part of the business, where you invite your friends to join and pay a fee to join. But what they were teaching about eBay dropshipping simply did not work. What so was I, it? Yeah, you don't mind me asking. What? Like that, what, 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 like that, what they were teaching about eBay dropshipping. I can't, they, they just thought it was very shallow. It didn't go deep. They just said, open my eBay store. You're going to be listing some items on eBay mm. and hope it will sell. It was very shallow. There right. Was no, there was no, there was no um details like, involved. Nothing, gotcha. No explanation. And the whole right. business was focused on the marketing thing. So right. I was in Costa Rica. I was looking for something to do. And I made $3 selling on eBay. Once I made that first $3, I was like, okay, if I can make $3, I can make $1,000. I just need to multiply this over and over and over. So I got obsessed with eBay dropshipping. Um, and I got into, I started what is called the like sniper strategy. Because right. my whole thing was, if I could find other people selling on eBay, and if they, I'm seeing what they're selling, I'll just sell the same thing for a little cheaper. So I did that for a while. I did that for a number of years, built a piece of software called DSGME around that methodology. And in the whole process of doing that, um, I, a couple of years ago, I had just given up on eBay dropshipping and focused completely on Amazon. And it was a, it was a matter of um, the grass is greener on the other side. eBay right. dropshipping was getting a little harder, but um, Matthew Beju had introduced me to Amazon dropshipping. And then we just went with it. I just jumped on Amazon dropshipping. I was hiring a lot of people. I was had, we were running 50 plus accounts on Amazon. Wow. And then, and that was crazy in itself, <laughs> right? But we were selling on Amazon and then we, we went down this dark road of using gift cards on Amazon. And then that just crashed everything. So at the end of the whole, when I was still dropshipping on Amazon, a number of accounts, and then Facebook dropshipping came out. So I had left Amazon and now dropped into jumped into Facebook Marketplace, and I had like my last eBay account, but I wasn't looking at eBay because it just didn't seem to make too much sense. Um, right. You sniping, you went down from making ten percent profit to five percent profit. You only try. You're only making cash back money at one point, and it just didn't. I was all focused on Amazon and and Walmart and Facebook. I didn't. I didn't jump back onto eBay. Um, when Sammy reached out to me about two years ago, and he was telling me he's still drop shipping on eBay. Bosco is telling me he's still drop shipping on eBay. Danish is telling me he's still drop shipping on eBay. But all you guys, Sammy, all you guys strategy was different, except for Bosco. Bosco is doing the same thing you were doing, except mm -hmm. he's doing it manually, which is bizarre. Like, I don't know <laughs> how someone could fucking do that shit manually, right? Yeah. So when you showed me um, e what is now Ecom Sniper and the early, early version of it, I was like, huh. eBay Sniper. Okay. Yeah, the, the early eBay, eBay Sniper. It wasn't called Ecom Sniper when you first introduced it mm -hmm. to me. No, it was eBay Sniper. It was actually coined after you, yeah? Like, the whole technology and methodology behind it, right? That software is really an embodiment of whatever Mark has built up on this channel, yeah? Right. But, 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 if someone, the thing is, if someone asked me today if to get into eBay dropshipping, 
the only way I would suggest anyone to get into dropshipping is if they use Ecom Sniper because it has changed too much. Like the algorithm has changed, um, sniping has changed, the margin that people are getting has changed. Some people are using illegal gift cards. So Ecom, this might sound stupid or this might sound like a sales pitch or whatever, but if I will challenge anyone to use AutoDS and and Zeek Analytics to try to make money on eBay against me working an hour a day using Ecom Sniper, and you're gonna lose. Like you're right. just not gonna make any money, right? So it's it's a weird, and I have thanked Sammy multiple times for introducing for, for bringing me back in the fold with eBay dropshipping because without the software, I can't see it work. If someone reaches out to like, you want a manly dropship on eBay, I'm like, no, fuck no, don't do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I hear you. Right. So as I was saying, I mean, first of all, Sammy, I, didn't, I don't think I have done this on YouTube, but I want to thank you for encouraging me to get back into eBay dropshipping. Um, and it's not really encouraging because I just saw the software and I kind of like lost my mind, but, <laughs> right. but thanks for us working together on this software on eBay dropshipping. And if I could, if anyone asks me if to get into eBay dropshipping now, and you're not going to use Ecom Sniper, I don't say, I don't recommend it. Like I can't, and this may see, may seem, and I'll challenge anyone out there who is using any other software, who's, who's trying to make money. Show me what you're doing, and I'll show you what we're doing. And we can compare notes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It can always be a discussion. It doesn't have to ever be a debate. Right, yeah. Just, it's just a basic comparison. But yeah, guys. So if you guys are thinking about dropshipping on eBay, definitely join Ecom Sniper. Definitely join the community. Um, And if you have That's any it. more questions for me about, about wh how... I switch back to eBay, anything about Facebook, anything about Amazon dropshipping. And I'm an open book. I'm an open book to answer any question. So, so yeah, I think we can end the video here. Or let's jump into the next one and then. Yeah, so like the video, subscribe to the channel. And Sammy, do you want to introduce yourself really quickly? Yeah, hi. My name is Sammy. I've been dropshipping on eBay for the last six years. And just as always, happy to be here, man. Yeah, my name is Mark Augustine. I've been dropshipping on eBay for over 10 years, and I am happy to be here as well. So the screen, the, the, what you're looking at here now is an account that we started on September 1st. And as you can see, we are making sales. Now, the profit margins on this account is about 20, is between 25 and 30%. So out of that $1,600 of sales, we would have made over $400 in profit. But that is not why we're here. Why we're here is to talk about the details on the three things that you need to know to make money, to, to basically make money with eBay. So you want to switch over to the whiteboard? Um, yeah, let me go ahead and switch that over. Here. Let me know if you can see that. Yeah, it's coming up. All right. So yeah, why you're not making money on eBay? Now, the first reason why you're not making money on eBay is that chances are if you sell on eBay, you're not unique. What do I mean? When looking at a lot of these listings on eBay, most of you are using what is called the sniper method. You are taking listings from other, uh, other eBay sellers. You're taking titles from other eBay sellers and trying to sell the exact same item with all of the exact same information. Since eBay has made their transition with connecting accounts, with connecting listings, the eBay algorithm has changed. So because the eBay algorithm has, has, has changed, your strategy needs to change. So when, you, when we talk about we are not unique, we're talking about one, the title, and two, the image. So you need to have a unique title. So when you're competing on the eBay search, you're not competing with all the other drop shippers and you need to have a unique image that will stand out from the other sellers on eBay. 
And I, again, you will be thinking, Mark, I don't know how to do this. It's going to take a lot of time. But we'll get to that. We've given you the solution at the end of this video. Sammy, you right. want to talk a little bit about this this uniqueness situation? Yeah, yeah. Like, like one thing that I think that has like, we, you know, we made videos on this topic already. However, the one thing that, you know, like needs to happen is the eBay algorithm, right? You got to understand how the, how, what they're trying to achieve over here. They're trying to fight in combat against a bad buyer experience. So what that means is everybody and their mother and then their mothers on top of that nowadays are drop shipping on eBay. So what that means is for every single item on e on Amazon, you'll find there are people, multiple people that are selling that same item onto eBay. And so what happens is if you get, like, let's say you're a shopper, right? I'm going ahead and I'm looking for, I don't know, like a wallet, you know what I mean? And then I find a hundred of those same wallets on the first page, like the same exact title, same exact uh, picture. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to exit out of eBay so fast that, you know, like not a, I'm never going to come back again because I'm going to say that, oh, eBay has nothing. It's just a whole bunch of people selling the whole same, all the same stuff. It's a horrible buying experience. So what that means is eBay really hates you if your item, right, is the same as someone else's. You must be unique, right? They want to give variety to their customers, right? So what that means is if you have a unique title, right, and a unique picture, what's going to happen is eBay will automatically assume that this product is not the same as everybody else's. It's not the same item. So what's going to happen is when you're unique, it's going to show your item. It's going to become all of a sudden it's going to be visible. The moment it's, you know, it's a duplicate of another item or et cetera, right? You'll sign, you'll find it yourself, right? Go ahead and list the same item twice onto your eBay account. eBay is going to send you a message. They're going to say that I'm watching you. <laughs> they're not mm -hmm. going to say it like that, but they're going to tell you that, Hey, you know what? We noticed that these, these are, this is a duplicate item. Please remove the item or I'm going to, we're going to remove it ourselves. And they're doing the same thing, but in a shadow level where they're going ahead and removing listings from the public's vision that are the same because they are really combating against a bad buyer's experience. So you're going to have to go ahead and be very unique, right? That is, you know, you can have an optimized title, right? But even then you must understand if you have an optimized title, right? Most techniques that people are using to go ahead and optimize their titles are almost synonymous across everybody else. But what is, what is what's happening here? If you have this, if, if you go ahead and optimize your title using like, what is it called? Titlebuilder.com. Yeah. Right. And everybody else is using that. Everybody else is pretty much getting the same exact titles. And again, this is going to contribute to a bad buyer experience. And everyone right. is generally using the same image as well. Right. Exactly. The same image. Like well, even if your titles are different, if your images are the, are the same, right? Once again, like understand that eBay like you got to come into this business, right? Understanding it from the buyer's experience, right? A buyer, if I'm shopping and I see literally to, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even reading the titles first. Well, I'm not even looking at the titles yet. I'm looking at all the images. That's the first point of contact that I have as a consumer going on to an e-commerce platform. It's from buyer to picture and then from picture to title. That is the flow, right? And so you as you, as you list these, these, a lot of mistakes again we talked about that mistake of you guys not being unique and listening with the same image image basically the ebay algorithm is not going to show your listing you'll be buried down to the bottom you'll be on the 10 15 page of, of that's uh, pretty generous man <laughs> yeah you, just, you, you definitely don't stand a chance of getting on the first page right exactly there you're you might you're not even going to be shown at, potentially because they're pulling from a, a catalog of like hundreds of thousands of items and they're curating a list of a thousand or 2000 to show to the buyer. And you got to make that cut. And to make that cut, you got to stand out and be unique. You know what I mean? So that is the first thing that, you know, that uh, we have to understand uniqueness. Do you want to, you want us to head it off for the second one? Yeah. For the, secondly, what you are not doing or chances are what you're not doing, you're not listing enough. Listing enough could be comparative, right? If you're just starting out, we suggest our guys to list one to 200 items a day. And I know depending on the tools they're using, that could be very difficult. But at the end of the day, if you're not 
if you're not listing enough items, if you're not putting in activity on that eBay account, you're right. not going to generate sales. You're not going to make any money. Right. Exactly. Right. Even if you have like, let's say a 50% sell through rate, right? If you list two items, you're only still selling one item, right? Well, you got to use those percent. You know, like we always have these conversations about like, oh, you know, like my items are not selling or like I'm, I'm, my sales are slow and et cetera. And, and I tell them like, what do you mean? Like you are getting, I look at their accounts, their sell through rate is like 5% and they have like hundred listings. Like what, like we as drop shippers have access to a catalog of potentially millions. I think, I think I saw, I think Amazon had like 23 million items or something on, on, on listed onto their website. Yeah. So within those 23 million items, you're going to come here, list a hundred items, and you're going to say that I'm not producing sales. Like we have like limitless power in this, in this specific field. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, and a lot of you guys at home, maybe you've tried eBay drop shipping or you have given up, but now is the time that you should really jump on this, but take heed to a lot of these mistakes that you're making. Right. Because right now, the account that we showed you guys with the sales, we're up to 2,000 listens or so. We haven't gotten to listen 10,000 listings, but it's it's the account is about two weeks old and we're warming the account up. And this right. is the same process that you guys have to get to. We are going, our goal is to get to those 10,000 items listed. And we are definitely using the law of big numbers. We're listing as much as possible, being unique with our titles, unique with our images, and generating sales that are giving us 25 to 30% profit margin. Right. And I, I think, I think I just want to quantify that, that, no, that number just for like a very visual representation. If you list, if you, let's say, let's, let's give some rock bottom numbers, right? Let's say you have a sell through rate of 1%, right? You have a hundred listings. You're going to sell one item, right? Yeah. You put a thousand listings, you're going to sell 10. You put 10,000 listings, you're going to sell a hundred. The way that you, the, the mentality that you should have when you're coming into this business is do not expect any results like profits until you reach 10,000 items any profits that you're making before that you know you go ahead and consider that as a gift go yeah, pray that's just extra <laughs> that's just extra what you that you're going through as you build the account at the way it should be built right like i'm not saying you're not going to make sales but that should be the mentality that you should have like do not even consider like you shouldn't be thinking about like I'm making profits or optimizing or whatever, like until you reach 10,000 items, right? Before that, you are still building the account. Now you're building your business at this moment. You know what I mean? Yes. And, and, thir and third, you should have multiple eBay accounts. Why should you have multiple eBay accounts? Sammy, I'll leave this to you. Yeah, yeah. This one is like... I would say like the other two are definitely problems as well, right? This third one is probably the number one problem that I see, right? Well, I would say the number two and number three, those are like, they're all huge problems. You know what I mean? So not having multiple accounts on eBay, the, the you in any business, right? The first thing you have to do is you got to scale it to go ahead and make money. Right. And we're going ahead and scaling. When you go ahead and scale one account over here, what's happening is you're scaling the item, you know, vertically. So what that means is like you're listing the item like from one to 10,000 items, you're going to produce sales. Right. And but you're scaling the item vertically and there is a ceiling on how much you can scale that one account vertically. So how do you continue scaling your business? You scale horizontally. Do you get what I'm saying, Mark? Yeah. So, yeah. So, so that is that is that is the first that is that is the first concept of having multiple accounts, right? You're gonna have to go ahead and once you one account is gonna help you scale vertically, multiple accounts is gonna help you scale horizontally, but scale in the end is still scale. So that is the first concept that you're gonna have to have. Your goal, right? These are the these are the three things that these are these are the numbers that you gotta have to kind of understand, right? One eBay account, right, is a side hustle. This is a side hustle. Do not do not ever expect to make more than a side hustle. Perhaps you could. I'm not saying that you can, right? But the mentality that you should have and you should adopt is one eBay account is a side hustle. Three eBay accounts, right? You're going to be able to live off, 
right? That is three eBay account is going to produce. If you scale all those accounts to 10,000 listings, you're going to be able to make enough money to go ahead and lift off that money. 30 eBay accounts. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is how you're going to get to $1 million. These are, these are the numbers that you're going to have to like, kind of like, these are the targets they're going to always have to have mentally ingrained into yourself, right? So once again, like we're going to go ahead. One eBay account is a side also. The reason why is because that one eBay account will not, like there is no chance in, in this eBay dropshipping model, right? That you're ever going to be able to make $1 million off of one eBay account, period, right? You know, uh, maybe if you give 30 years or whatever, but we're we're here to do things quickly, right? Yeah. Things change <laughs> so quickly. <laughs> Three eBay accounts, you're going to be able to go ahead and literally you're going to be able to, I go ahead and like use that money from that and kind of like live a normal lifestyle, right? Anywhere from three to 30 is going to start getting to like some real money. But if you want to get into the territory of like make, being able to make a million dollars off of eBay, you need to go ahead and make 30 eBay accounts. And so, and also some of the, some of the side benefits of having multiple accounts beyond scaling your accounts, scaling your business horizontally is diversifying your eBay accounts. Right. The reason why is because when you go ahead and make one eBay account, things can go wrong. Right. You could go ahead and like get your account suspended. Maybe like eBay is going to give you MC011, whatever the case. Right. That is going to go ahead and stop your business from running. Right. The second thing is Vero suspensions. Right. You want to go ahead and spread the risk of Vero across multiple accounts. Right. If you get for three Veros in one account, Right. Like if you get five Veros in one account in the in this one week, that account is going to be suspended. But you get five five Veros across three accounts, you're good to go. eBay is very forgiving about that. So for diversifying um your accounts, right, you're able to go again and have a good spread that's going to give you a nice shield against the potential problems that dropshippers like they they face off of. For example, like MC011, Vero suspensions. You know what I'm saying, Mark? Yes, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So so with that being said, I I, I think I think if if you guys are like watching, like uh these are the three problems that you have and you want you you want you you want you want to hop into like the the solution that we can kind of like um jump into. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because these three, these are the three main things why you will be watching this and you're not making money and you're not making money anyway. And we have we have created something called Ecom Sniper. Now, Ecom Sniper is a, a piece of software that specifically targets these problems. It is built to specifically ensure that your title is unique, your image is unique, and so that you're ranking separately than all the other dropshippers. It is it is built so you could use something called the, the product hunter and the bug lister. So you could list thousands of items very quickly. Right. Are, are you able to see the screen? I'm I'm not Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So no, I let's let's go let's go into like a case study of like the examples. Let's talk about those the first Let's do the let's show part. the example of the of, of that item that was sold. Right. Okay. So so what you can see right off the bat is let's let, we're talking about the first point over here like this is going to be to go ahead and dive into like how to go ahead and be unique right so we went ahead and sold this item instant hot water heater faucet fast tankless electric led di digital display right but if you go ahead on amazon and look what the title is you're going to see that this is the title 110 volts hot water heater faucet instant tankless electric kitchen bathroom like you know what i mean this title first of all Right, it's not a very good title, right? We don't. I. I don't it's go full of and, it's full of keywords, but it's not a good title in twenty twenty three. Right, it's not. It's not readable, right? Our title that we went ahead and wrote. This is one of the sales that we got. We got a positive feedback from it. Remember, we're marking up the price by like eighty percent. This is we sold. This is fifty bucks. We're selling it. For, we sold it for eighty one twenty two. You know what I mean? So we're. We're marking it up by like an like a huge percentage, yeah. So this is one of the reasons we're able to we're able to do that. And the, the first reason why is like that the title is unique, but another aspect to this that we're not we didn't really talk about, and the re specific reason why we didn't talk about is the title itself was made to sell, right? This title was crafted in a way where it's readable, 
right? You you can go ahead and understand it right away. Like if a buyer gets confused, like when I was reading this title, I was getting confused, man. You know what I mean? It was not like making connections in my head. Like it's, it's almost like, like scaring you away from it. Yeah. But over here, we're breaking things apart piece by piece. You know, like there's a reason why phone numbers are broken up and like three digits by three digits by four digits. Imagine I told you to remember this number. Six four seven two one two three 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 four. Like you're gonna be like, wait, what? But if I <laughs> broke it down, you know, it's six four seven, and then chunk by chunk by chunk, right? They say that human beings, right, they only have the capacity to understand. Like if you're if you're normal, you're able to understand three different elements at one time, and then you're able to understand. So that's why they went ahead and made phone numbers, and they chunked it in that size: three three four. You know, like different countries, maybe the people there are like Vara and intellect levels, but I think here yeah. in America or Canada, that is like the we should work on we should work on that, right? So we pieced it up in three pieces: instant hot water heater faucet, right? And then we talked about what the item is: fast tankless electric. We gave like the benefit of it, and then we gave another feature of the item: LED dis digital display. So it just breaks up the entire thing, so the so the reader can go ahead. And they can take a breath, like a break every time they're reading the title. And when they're doing that, they're able to go ahead and understand what this product is instantly. And then they're able to go ahead and make a purchase decision. But and if that, you... that, let me just say one thing. That title was made by Ecom Sniper using artificial intelligence. And I want to bring that up because a lot of people may get scared and say, hey, I don't know how I'm going to create that title myself. Right. And. I know some, if you have studied English or if you have worked in retail, you may be able to sit down and create a related title, but you're not going to be do, be able to do it with the speed that it takes to list a hundred items a day. Right, right. And and let's go ahead and show you an example of how these titles get generated. So what we do is first we get a dictionary. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we just click this blue button here, right? Like if you, so this is our dictionary over here. You know, so it's going ahead and piecing together a perfect title for you. We click that button and look how many titles we were able to go ahead and generate that are humanly readable. Right? Look at the this this title right over here, and and you can see that the title over here and the ones that are generated are different. Is because every time you click snipe title, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a whole bunch of different results. So you can pick whatever title is most readable and understandable to you. Easy tankless electric water heater faucet. Fast heating digital display. This is beautiful. Like you understand what the product is instantly, right? Instant tankless water heater faucet. Fast heating tap with LED displays. To be unique on eBay is easier than ever now. It's that it's just a click of a button this time. You don't need to be a master of English. You just need to be a master of clicking buttons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, and then on top of that, what we do is we have like our images are gone ahead and they get generated as well. So you can see that this is the this is the image that we went ahead and generated, and this is what makes us unique, right? So you can see this is the Amazon picture that everybody is listing, and this is our image, right? So eBay is able is when when eBay looks at our image. Right, they go. They will go ahead and see that our item is unique. The reason why is because it does not look like everybody else's image. So that means that you know it's gonna go ahead and show with everybody else because our titles are unique and our pictures are unique. And and what that means is you know we're gonna be able to go ahead and be visible to all the entire buying community because eBay knows that if someone goes ahead and sees our listing, we're gonna go ahead and aid in in the good buyer experience. Because we're we're adding to the variety that is on eBay. Because let's be real here, most of the items on Amazon, etc., like a lot of them are like pretty much the same thing, right? But they went if you go ahead and actually buy the products, you'll see that a, like these bookshelves are pretty much practically the same. But because they have like different angles when they took the pictures, right? Or they went ahead and took like took it like you know a different lighting or whatever. All of a sudden, it's a it's a brand new unique item. They put a different title, they put a different brand, and then there you go. You're adding to a good buyer experience and showing variety where people want variety when they're searching through e-commerce, right? So so this is our image. You can see that we have like our three side images over here. We have our badges. We put our watermarks to show that 
hey, you know what? We're from the U.S., right? Go buy from us. We're not sourcing from China. Where and this and then this is the Amazon. Like I, I feel like it's like there's a huge difference. You know, yeah, just like pretty hard, but I mean, I, I, I think it's a good image. Like, but it's like. Like Amazon does not allow you to go. They don't want you to do these collages, right? eBay doesn't either, but they're very lax on it. You know what I mean? I so mean they allow this... you. They allow you to be creative. That's the good thing with eBay. I've exactly. seen a lot of people put a red a red border around the image. Yeah, 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 all yeah. Type of different things. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But these pictures, I think the one thing that lacks in that creativity sometimes is the professionalism. Yeah, our pictures are really professional. Yeah. And so with one click of a button, we're able to go ahead and list this item onto eBay. Let's go ahead and find a different, you know, water faucet and list this item onto eBay just to kind of like, you know, like really drive the point home. Yeah. And then we can move on to like the next, the next topic. So, um, we can go ahead and let's pick like, just say this item right over here. This, this is an Amazon choice has 10,000 ratings. Right, let's go ahead and close this off. And then the, let's go ahead. And the first thing is, let's go ahead and look at all the competition on eBay. So this, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the saturation that we have. So let's see how many results, how many people we can find that have the same title. One. Um, is that it? Maybe, maybe this is like a niche. Water faucet. So the first thing is first, we right away we see that one person is right over here. He, this guy's sourcing from, from Amazon. And is this the same item? No. Yeah, it is. I I really are you sure? Like it looks like maybe the brand is different. But whatever the case, right? Like I I, I feel like they're very similar, yeah. But yeah, like they're they are very similar. Very very similar, but they're just like minute differences yeah like this one looks like this one looks like it's almost the same but whatever the case let's go ahead and like let's go ahead and snipe the title and i'm going to show you how easy it is to go ahead and list this item yeah so we're sniping the title kitchen sink water filter faucet it's with swivel 360 let's wait for the perfect title and then we're going to go ahead and push that to their account modern kitchen water filter so another thing that this software does is it goes ahead and adds like luxury to the title. So that way it justifies the price markup of $50.99. Sturdy stainless steel water faucet kitchen stink filter, 10 3 inch, 360 swivel. So this is this looks like a very nice title. Yeah. So we can go ahead and press opti list. And there we go. It's gonna start listing onto our account all automatically. And then we can kind of like um just wait for that to finish, yeah. And, and well, well, the second point that we were talking about was scale, like getting to ten thousand listings, yeah. So, yeah. do you do you want to talk about that one? And then while I go ahead and like uh, open up an example. Yeah, I mean, in the beginning, you're not going to raise to ten thousand in your first week, but right, it is very. But with the the premier eBay store, they give you ten thousand listings without paying fees. And that's where at, at seventy nine seventy nine ninety five a month, and that's where we t we want to take advantage of all the free listings that eBay is giving us. Right, right. No, I I hundred I hundred percent. I think at, at your right over here we can see that our account has two thousand five hundred and twenty six listings. I I think I think a very strong testament to everything that's going on is if we go on to your YouTube channel, right, and then we can and you you will you guys will see that. What we're doing on, on our eBay accounts, we are making videos every single day, right? And then you can go ahead and follow the journey. And we what we did was right over here, we made a video, right? And in, in, in 13 days, this was this was a series before this, right? We went ahead and did 800 to $900 in profit in 13 days, just profit with 4,100 in revenue. And this is only live on YouTube. This is all the work that we're doing on these accounts happen on YouTube. Right. So right over here, this is day 13, day 10, right? We put it, we, we have put day eight, day seven, day six, 
We literally have documented the entire series and all of the, everything we did, we left it entirely for the YouTube channel, right? And then we went ahead and we started the series again, right? And we're right over here and we're, and we're documenting the every single day. So if you go ahead and watch these videos, right, you're, you're going to be a part of the journey where we're taking, where, where we, we have a plan, we have a goal, is we're taking this account and we're going to go ahead and generate three to $4,000 in profit within the year, like per month. But we're going to go ahead and, you know, first our set, our first target that we're trying to execute is we're getting to 10,000 listings. Yeah. So this item is almost done listing onto the account. Uh, it's promoting the listing. It's going ahead and creating an optimized description, right? It goes ahead and fills in the item specifics for you automatically. And it goes ahead and submits the listing and it lists it onto your eBay account all automatically. So there you go. We spent we spent one second or a few couple seconds, and then we went ahead and listed a completely unique title, right? That is optimized and made to sell with a beautiful picture, right? Title description, and then we went ahead. We filled in the item specifics for you automatically. Where is the item specifics? I think it's a little, little right over here. All of these things. These are not things that we pulled from Amazon, right? These are things that we went ahead and used the AI to go ahead and generate for you automatically. And then we went ahead and made a human readable description that was made to sell, right? If you look at the description on Amazon, this is not the same description. It's completely different. These are things that are, human beings like to scan, right? So we made it scannable. So now uh, be, let's go move on to like the problem number two. You know, you got to list 10,000 items. Right. And how do you list 10,000 items? Right. We have a product hunter. Right. And we have a product hunter. Right. So right over here, you can see that this product hunter went ahead and found uh, around 1300. Sorry, found 500 items for us. to. No, sorry. Right over here. This product hunter went ahead and found 2,515 items for us to sell onto our eBay account. And the way it works is. If we go ahead and clear this, if we go ahead and start the product hunter, all it does is, do you think we should start from the beginning? No, they no, need no. To, the yeah, yeah it's yeah. like the point. Like I, I feel like if we if we talk about the product hunter in this video like this, it's just gonna get very overwhelming. You know what I mean? Yeah, like exactly, exactly. But the the concept is, if we go ahead and click one button. Right. And there's another button to get all, all of these titles in here as well. Right. You're going to find thousands of listings to go ahead and post onto your eBay account. Like these are all like proven to sell. And we have like a whole video series on how this product hunter works. So let's not, we're not, let's not get into that. You can kind of, I guess, look through the YouTube videos to see how we're doing it or um, go into the course. Let's pause this. Right. And then you can see that we, we have exported all of these Amazon links. The, and these are all the items over here, right? And they, it goes ahead and finds Amazon choice and bestseller items. So what the product hunter does, it goes ahead and finds a whole bunch of items. And then we have a bulk lister. Just like we went ahead and listed this item onto our eBay account, like with a click of a button. Now you're able to go ahead and optimize with, with, with unique titles, with unique pictures, with just a click of a button. So I'm going to click list on eBay and what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and list all of these four items that are opening in a new tab. It's going to go through this list of items of 2,500 items and it's going to go ahead and list them all onto your account one by one all automatically where you don't have to do a single thing. You Well, you're going to have to click a couple buttons, but that's yeah. why I said at the beginning, you're not going to have to be an expert of clicking buttons. <laughs> I, and I hope that you guys... Once you have reached this part of the video, because when you, I'm sure when you hear list 10,000 items, you will think that that would take forever and there's a lot of work involved, but we have created exactly the tools needed to achieve the, these goals. And this is one of the biggest tools in Ecom Cypher. Right, right. Exactly. Right. That is all, that's all because you have to do. Because listing 10,000 items without, without this would be relatively challenging. If you have right. to optimize the titles and, and fix the images. I'd probably get a job at that point if you told me. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to list ten thousand items like manually, like man, like I I know it's doable, but at that point, you know, like, like I think you said it yourself in a different video. Like you got to choose the battles that are worth fighting. Right, like, exactly. Hard work pays off for sure, but it needs to be 
focused and directed with the right method. You know what I'm saying? You can't, if you, no matter how hard you work, right? If you spin a wheel all day long, right? It's still going to go in a circle. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You need to make yep. progress, right? So hard work with focus, that is like, that is what we're talking about, right? So this product hunter and the bulk lister goes ahead and lists those 10,000 items for you. If you if you don't want to go ahead and do this, right? Just put in the hard work then, you know, go ahead and make the new unique titles, etc. I'm not saying that you need to use these, these features, right? You, this it just goes everything that this software does. There's no secret. Like we're not going to, we're not telling you that, right. We have like this secret algorithm or anything like that. No, there's none of that. We have a proven system that works. You list 10,000 items onto one account with unique titles. It's going to sell with unique pictures. It's going to sell. You can go, uh, you can go on canva.com. You can go ahead on title builder. You can go ahead and just think of the titles yourself, source the products. All this software does it goes ahead and streamlines that process like a hundred, a thousand times over. That's all it is. There's no secrets in this anymore. You know what yeah. I mean? So the, the last thing is the multiple accounts, right? And the solution for that, right? So we have, you know, like, I, I think, I think we should wrap up this video, but like, let's go ahead and, you know, we can talk about the course, right? We have like a whole, you want to talk about the course where we talk about yeah. the multiple accounts? Yeah, so in we have something called the dropship mastery, which is a full eBay dropshipping course, and there goes into how how to create multiple accounts. You're gonna to have to create um US corporations and there are different methods that you, you go through to get multiple accounts and to get high 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 limit selling accounts because these are not just regular accounts, these accounts have seventy five thousand to a hundred thousand listens. Right. Like, you know, you know, we're, we're not going ahead and like, there's no secrets here. Right. Again, we're, everything that we know, we're, we're like, we're like telling you guys everything that we know to make multiple accounts. You just need to have um multiple LLCs. You're going to have to go ahead and have uh, friends, you know, like friends. And we talk about this on the eBay channel multiple times on how to do it, creating a sole proprietorship. All this course does for you is it goes ahead and compiles all of that information in a very clean and organized way. So that way you're able to go ahead and really jumpstart your business with a structure that we have created that works. That's all it is, right? We talk about me creating an account with multiple, we're creating eBay account with high limits. And then the second module we'll talk about is creating multiple eBay accounts and preparing to scale. Like we talk about this before we even start listing because we know what the challenges are of eBay dropshipping. So we're preparing you for that from the very beginning. And also understand, once again, like, like Mark, haven't we talked about how to do it? We tell everybody how to do it. The yeah, only... we, we have a community where... Right. Where that... Yeah, like we, we talk about all of that stuff on a daily basis. And we mentioned how to do all of this stuff on a... On... If you look back on your YouTube videos, you know, we have like a whole video on how to set up the computers and like the IP addresses and et cetera. Like, let me pull up that video. Like, so I think, I think, I think it becomes like very clear. So right over here, all eBay dropshippers. Um, Multiple eBay accounts. There it is. The fourth one. Fourth one, right? One, Go two, up. three. Yeah. Secrets to, you mean? No, uh, that's it. How does it? How, how... All right. Right. Right over here. Right over yeah. here. Yeah, we went into details for this one. Like, uh, it, this one is specifically for the IP. You can, but our videos, like, my point is, we talk about the whole setup and everything in the YouTube videos already. All the course does is brings a lot of that information in a structured component, ready for you to go ahead and execute. Right? There's it, all that's that's all it is. There's no secrets. And it, and it come it comes with a month of the ecom sniper software. So you get one, right. you get the entire thing. Use any coupon code first one hundred at a discount, and you get this software. So that's the that's why, and the software will usually cost you one nine nine a month. Right, right, exactly. So what it is, you just ninety seven dollars for the course, and then the software is two hundred dollars a month. However, we go ahead and just give this for the first month for the first one hundred people. We're just going to get uh, go ahead and give it free. And on top of that, if you guys just want to go ahead and use the basic lister, we also have a free lister onto this onto this software right where it doesn't use any ai right and it goes ahead and you can just go ahead and like list a thousand items onto your account without any ai 
and it works just the same as as the software does super fast yeah the, only the difference... results the results wouldn't be the same but you can right. Miss. right exactly and and the reason why we're charging for this is because first of all we're using ai and that ai has a cost for us to begin with and we and so just because so that's why it cannot be free you know what i'm saying yeah yeah. So so yeah. Like if if you guys if you guys don't have to, you can go I always use the free lister. It works pretty well. I use this for the first three years. You of course you're not gonna get the same results, but it works. And you know what I mean. You just yeah. have, again you apply the same concepts as we talked about, and you're gonna be able to go ahead and do that. So yeah, we we talk about in the videos exactly how, your step by step guys on how to create multiple eBay accounts. So you're gonna gonna be able to scale your businesses horizontally. And by listing, and then we have the software that goes ahead and helps you list to scale your business vertically. So we we cover our bases over here. So I think I think I think that's it for I think that's it for me. But yeah, uh, so if, that so guys again, like the video and subscribe and really reach out to us if you need anything. Um, if you gotten to this point in the video, check out the course, check out Ecom Sniper, and I really wish you guys as much success as possible. Okay, have a good one. Have a good one, guys.